Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of Endless Golf Myrtle Beach. I am your host, Meredith Kirk, and today I'm at the beautiful International Club in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. And joining me in a few minutes is the head golf professional, Doug Donner. We're gonna go out and play some of these beautiful holes out here. It's a Willard Bird design, so stay with us. Welcome to Endless Golf Myrtle Beach. Endless Golf is brought to you by Golf Trek, your Myrtle Beach golf connection. Book your package by visiting yourgolfpackage.com slash TV. And by your local Toyota dealer. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at geico.com or call 800-947-AUTO. The Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 25 locations, meet you at the Turtle. And by Endless Golf Myrtle Beach Magazine, your guide to golf in Myrtle Beach. Hi, I'm Meredith Kirk, and I am at the International Club in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. And standing here with me is Doug Donner, head golf professional. Doug, thanks for having me out today. Thanks for coming out I today. I love the International Club, well, because I live here and play here, and I've actually worked at this course before. So tell me a little bit about the International Club and who designed it and some of your favorite holes. Well, it was actually designed by Willard Bird. Um, he's actually a very famous architect in the area. Uh, one of the things I like about the course is that he designed it to be fair for everybody. Um, he, he makes it playable for, for all, all different types of golfers. Uh, one of the big things is he punishes the bad shots, but he rewards the good shots out here. Um, some of my favorite holes we have out here, uh, number one is a great starting hole. Uh, it, it's a great way to start the round with a birdie possibly wide open fairway you can just hit your drive just see where it goes and uh, find it and hit it again yeah number one is awesome um tell me a little bit about hole number four number four is a great hole it's actually a really short hole but i always call it it's it's actually the the toughest short hole i've ever played um, you've got trees lying in the left side you've got out of bounds on the right side uh, it's just a little easy four iron, little long iron off the tee, and then you'll have a nice mid iron into the green. Uh, the green's really protected. It's got water running all down the right side. Everything slopes down to that water. Um, and then if you miss it a little bit left, it actually slopes into the trees. Uh, so it, it, it makes for a really tough hole. Yeah, that is a challenging hole. Yeah. But one of the holes that I love here is number nine. It is so beautiful. It's, it's a great hole to finish the front. Tell me a little bit about number nine. It is. It's a great par five. Um, the long hitters can hit it in two. Uh, there is a little bit of the risk reward in there. You have water down the right side of the green. Uh, so you're, you're sitting there. It's, it's a little risky there. Do you take the risk? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Uh, but it's, it, it, it's even tough once you get to the green. Uh, it kind of depends on the pin placement. We have a lot of tough pins back right there. It, everything's going to slope towards the water there. And then if you miss it left, you're pretty much blocked out even on your putt on that hole. Right. Um, so e even once you get to the green, you got a tough shot coming in. Okay, so right now we are on hole number six. I love this hole. It's a long par three, though. It is a long par three. So we're three. standing back here at the back tees at 200 yards. Are you going to make me hit the shot today? I, I think I'll let us move up a little bit after Yay. this. Yeah. So what's the yardage from, if we move up to the white tees, what are we looking at there? It's playing about 170. 170. 170. I think I can handle that. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this hole uh, before we hit the shot. This is, It's a great hole. We've got, there's really not much room for error on it. We've got the water right in front of the green. Obviously, you have to, you have to take enough club. Um, the problem with this is that it's, it's probably the shallowest green we have on the course. Um, so you don't want to try to take too much club or you're over the green. It slopes hard from back to front. So you got a really tough chip shot coming back to the hole from there. Right. All right. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's play this thing and see let's how we Let's give go. it a shot. All right, Meredith, let's give this a try from the white tees up here. Give ourselves a little break this morning. Well, it's a beautiful day. Normally there's a little bit of a breeze on this hole, but there's no wind today. There he is. Usually it, it plays a little longer because that wind's usually right into our face. Uh, but let's see if we can get one up there real close. There you go. Right down the middle. A little bit on the right side of the pin. There you yeah. go, you're putting. It's putting. 
Doug, that was an awesome shot. I need to get up there with you on the dance floor. All right, Meredith, knock it close. I'm gonna give it a shot. Come on, oh, get up there. Oh, that was good there. Let's get back there. Great there we shot. go. Looks like we're dancing. We're dancing. Two birdie putts. All right, Doug, let me get this pin for you. All right. Knock let's it see, in here. Let's see if we can roll in a couple birdies here. Looks good. Oh, be oh, there, be oh, there. Oh, oh, nice. I'll take birdie on this hole any day. Listen, I'll tell you what, these greens here are so nice. Every time I'm out here, they're in great shape. They're rolling great, and look at you. That was yeah, a nice, I've that was said, like 30 if you, feet. If you miss a putt out here, it's, you can't blame it on the greens. Well, now you're putting pressure on me. <laughs> I've got to oh, make this. Oh, I've seen you putt before. I know you can make this. Get in. Oh. oh. Well, good you roll. got me on this hole. All right, that's good. Doug, thanks for showing me how to do it. You certainly did it on this hole. Thank you. So let's head out to number 12. All right. And you got to show me can... how to birdie that one. We're going to try to get another birdie. You're on a roll right now. Welcome to Seaside Furniture Gallery and Accents. Our store is unlike any other. We capture coastal living with all of our sensational items from over 100 quality manufacturers. Our staff is friendly helpful and knowledgeable, and our store was voted best on the Grand Strand in 2013. So you're getting the very best of sales, service, and delivery. And we offer financing. Come visit us at Seaside Furniture Gallery in Accents. We love our customers. Welcome home and welcome to Myrtle Beach. Whatever your dreams, we want to make them reality. Thomas Beach Vacation and Real Estate promises a commitment to your satisfaction. Whether you're planning a golf vacation or buying a home in the Myrtle Beach area, our team members can help. We know golf and the beach. Make the right choice and speak with one of our team members and immediately feel the difference. Pick up your copy of Endless Golf Myrtle Beach Magazine today. This local golf publication features the most popular golf courses, package information, local golf organizations, and news the Grand Strand has to offer. Each edition will also provide tips from local LPGA and PGA professionals, as well as the latest in fitness to keep your game in shape year-round. Endless Golf Magazine is a free publication and is available at a variety of golf courses and businesses throughout the Grand Strand. Or you can check us out online at EndlessGolfMag.com. Welcome back to Endless Golf Myrtle Beach. Standing with me is Doug Donner, head golf professional at the International Club. Doug, this is just a gorgeous course here on the South End. I absolutely love Burles Inlet, not only for the golf, but obviously lots of great restaurants, seafood restaurants that you can come down here, have a round of golf, go grab some seafood and have a good time. It is a great area. And we've got just down the road, we've got the old waterfront Myrtle's Inlet. Um, it, it, their uh, saying actually is it's a fishing village with a drinking problem. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> um, so, but it's, it's a lot of fun in the area. Yeah, and the ownership here at the International Club, they also own the Thistle on the north end of Myrtle Beach. Tell me a little bit about that course. It's a great course. They have, um, when you actually drive up to it, they have this massive clubhouse and um, you feel like you're going into a castle in Scotland. Um, and then when you get out on the course, it has the Scottish feel to it, it has the Lynx style course. Um, it's, it's in the same ownership, so we try to keep everything maintained the same amount and uh, we really, it, we try to keep both of them as equal as possible with the maintenance of the, of the two courses there. Right, so if you're coming down here to play golf, you got to check out the International Club and Thistle on the north end. Um, so getting back to the International Club today, some of my favorite holes are 11, 15, and 18. Can you tell our audience a little bit about number 11? 11, it's a great par 3. Um, you have a little bit of water that's fronting you in front of the green there, and then if you get it over that water, you actually have a bunker there that's right in front of that green as well. Um, so there's a little bit of trouble there, but it's, it's a huge green. It's probably one of the largest greens on the course. Uh, if you miss that green, then 
you know, you kind of, you kind of, you're going to have a hard time getting a par because you are going to be in that bunker or right. you'll, you'll roll off into the water. Well, it's one of the reasons why I love that hole because of the large green. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's hard to miss it. Yeah. Now, number 15 is a little bit more challenging. Tell me about that hole. 15, that's actually our number one handicap hole out here. And what makes that tough is it's, it's the longest hole we have on the course. It's, it's got a wide fairway to it, so it makes the drive pretty easy. The only problem is if you miss the fairway left, you're going out of bounds. If you miss it right, it has a chance to roll either yeah. out of bounds or into the water that's there. Yeah. Um, it actually sits up. It's an elevated green that sits there, and um, it's protected by a bunker as well. So it, it, it plays long, and with the elevated green, it plays even longer. Right. So that, that makes for, it, it powers a great score on that hole. Yeah, it's definitely, it's very challenging, but it is a lot of fun. I mean, every time I play that hole, sometimes I feel a little claustrophobic, but it's that challenge I love, knowing I have to hit down the middle on that hole. That's right. Tell me a little bit about the beautiful um, 18. That's a gorgeous hole. I love 18 it. 18 is. It, it's a great finishing hole. It's a it's a par 5. Uh, it's it's tough to get home in 2. Um, the, some of the longest hitters, they can get home in 2, but it it. It's more of a layup hole. It's a three-shot hole to get there. It's protected by bunkers, both left, right, and right in front of the green. Uh, so what makes for a difficult second shot if you're trying to hit it in two is those bunkers there. Right. Uh, once you get on the green, it's actually got a pretty good little slope that right in the middle that brings everything to the front of the green there. So it, it, it makes for a tough putt there as well. Right. Well, speaking of bunkers, we're going to head out to hole number 12, and you're going to show me how to play number 12. But there is a lot of bunkers on that hole. Tell me a there little are. bit about number 12 before we head out there and play it. Yes, number 12, it's actually a little intimidating looking at it off the tee. And you're looking over the green. Um, you're looking over the water. It looks like it's about 300 yards to carry that water. Uh, it does, yes. <laughs> it's, it's only about 180 yards at, at the most to carry it. Um, now, you do have the water, uh, you have a bunker in the middle of the fairway that kind of narrows everything, so you want to try to keep it left of that bunker, um, or you can try to fly that bunker. Uh, it gives you a good chance to reach it in two there. Right, it does. A little uh, bit of a risk on that hole. There is, yeah. there is. Uh, the good thing is, uh, it, it's, it's a great birdie opportunity. So right. you, you got a chance to go out it in two. Uh, they have bunkers protecting the green, so your second shot in there. If you don't hit it long enough, you'll wind up in a bunker. If you miss it a little right, you'll wind up in a bunker. A little left, you'll wind up in a bunker. All right. Well, I'm going to try to avoid the bunkers today. So let's go out there and have fun playing this hall, and let's see if we can make that birdie. That sounds great. All right, Meredith, here we are at number 12, just as I described it. Um, it's a great opportunity for a birdie or possibly an eagle for the long hitters. So we need to just get a ball out there and play right in the middle. Give ourselves a good chance at hopefully going for it in two. Sounds good. It's nice and wide open. I do like that. It is. Wow, you bombed that one. Yeah. Definitely over the water. There you go. All right, it's it's in play. That's always a good thing, Doug. That's right. Got to keep it in play. Let's see if I can keep it in play and out of the water on this one. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it over that water there. So what is the uh, yardage to get it over the water on this hole? It's actually only about 170 to get over that water. All right. So it looks like it's a lot farther than it is. It does, doesn't it? It's a fun shot, though. Oh, great shot. Thanks. Well, I made it over. <laughs> All right, Doug, it looks like I'm about 250 yards from the pin. I think I'm just going to lay up with a hybrid, maybe on the right side of the green, because I see bunkers on the left. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I'd keep it down the right side. Um, you'll have a real clear shot into that green. OK. That uh, makes for a great angle into that pin. Well, it wasn't a perfect shot, but I'm definitely up there in the middle, a little bit on the right side, yeah, so I'll take it. That's all we need, so. All right, I got a little bunker shot here. This kind of is the one thing that protects this fairway here, but I still got a little over 200, so I'm going to try to get this up there near that green. Nice shot, Doug. Thank you. Get up there. It's a little bit left of the pin. Nice. Thank you. Well done. 
All right, Doug, looks like I'm about 100 yards out. I've got my wedge. Yeah, you left yourself a great angle into this flag. So go ahead and knock it in there close. I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, that looks good, get up there. Come on, get up there, a little bit more. Oh, good shot. All right, I'll take You're that. You're yourself a nice uphill putt there. Thank you. All right, it looks like I didn't quite uh, clear that bunker there. Didn't have quite enough on it, but let's see if I can get this up there close and hopefully make a birdie here. There you go. Nice out. You thank are you. a great bunker player, Doug. Well, thank you. All right, Doug, looks like you're out. I'll grab the pin. All right. Let's see if we can knock a couple birdies in here. So we've got some, some good chances at it. Yeah. Well, you've been making putts all day. I don't think you're going to have a problem. Yeah, I think this one's a this one's a little slick though, and so it's going to break pretty hard on me. So let's see if I can get it to hold on and just die in at the end there. Nice oh, putt. Break. Oh. oh, I had a little too much speed on it there. Almost. You're good. All right. Thank you. All right. Go ahead and knock that one in, Meredith. I'm going to give it a shot. Get in there. Get. Oh. oh. Almost. That's a good roll. That's good, Meredith. Oh, I had to knock that little three-incher in. <laughs> I haven't ever seen you miss one of those. <laughs> Let's hope I don't. <laughs> Doug, thank you so much for having me out here at the thank International you, Club. Um, we've really had a good time out here today. It's a we beautiful have. course, and these greens are always in spectacular shape. And I love the size of this green. This one's hard to miss right here on number 12. It is. It's great hitting that second shot into a real deep green. Yeah. Well, folks, thanks for joining us out here at the International Club, and we're going to go take a quick break and get to the golf tip of the week. No place inspires cool memories and carefree dining quite like Trevinia Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar. Whether guests favor the authentic Italian atmosphere or dining in our wine room for a more private occasion, everyone is pampered by Trevinia's passion for serving really fresh, really great contemporary American Italian food in grand style. Trevinia features an extensive wine list and gluten-free menu. Take advantage of our 25% off all bottles of wine every Tuesday, half off martinis every Wednesday, and and live jazz music every Friday evening. Open for lunch and dinner. This golf tip brought to you by the Greg Norman Champions Golf Academy. Welcome back to Endless Golf. My name is Scott Chobe, Director of Golf at Greg Norman Champions Golf Academy at Barefoot Golf Resort in North Motor Beach. Today I have Hector Gutierrez with us. He's one of our full-time students and we'd like to uh, speak with you today about how to control your wedges from 20, 40, 60 yard distance so you can be more accurate. So I'm gonna ask Hector to step up right now, hit a few shots. I'm gonna to speak to you guys about some of the things we do here at Greg Norman Champions Golf Academy. One of the key things here is make sure you set up 60, 40, 60% 60 on your left side, 40% on your right side. The other thing is making sure that you choke down on the grip. This helps you'd be more accurate so you can be get the ball closer to the pin. The key in controlling distances in these shots is the speed of your arms. So the closer, the less speed of your arms, the further away, the faster your arms are going to swing. The other thing is key is keeping a steady lower body. So I'm going to have Hector go ahead and hit a few shots. Very nice. Go ahead and hit one more for me. Notice his lower body, how it stays and supports the upper body. Very good. Hopefully these tips will help you. If you'd like more information about us, please go to our website, gncga.com, and check out all our different programs we offer.
Welcome back to Endless Golf Myrtle Beach. Thanks for joining me at this fabulous golf course. You know, Myrtle Beach is great because from Calabash all the way to Polly's Island, we have over 100 golf courses along the Grand Strand. And not only that, we have fabulous restaurants and an awesome nightlife. So next time you're booking your next Myrtle Beach golf vacation, you have to check out Golf Trek, your Myrtle Beach golf connection. Since 1979, Golf Trek has been booking golf packages in Myrtle Beach. Golf Trek has booked over 1 million rounds and has 10 local golf masters to help you book your next golf vacation to Myrtle Beach. Plus, as an independent company, Golf Trek can offer you any Myrtle Beach course and share local information like course conditions as well as places to enjoy after your round of golf. Enjoy personal service from your golf master from start to finish and choose from a wide variety of large condos and homes that sleep up to 32. Right now you can take advantage of this great offer from Golf Trek. Call now or take advantage of this special offer to learn more about Golf Trek and other great packages. Don't just take my word for it. If you haven't booked yet, let's go check out what some of Golf Trek's golf course partners have to say about Golf Trek. So golf Trek is, is a great business partner of ours. Um, they handle their package business very professionally. Uh, Parker and his staff there take care of the golfers in a great way. They set everything up for them. They send them to us. We take care of them here. Um, so we kind of help each other and wash each other's hands on that. And it, it, it's a great relationship that we would love to keep going in the future. Uh, we have a great relationship with Golf Trek and Parker and its staff as well. They do a lot for us and the Myrtle Beach area, and we enjoy having their guests. Uh, that's what we survive on here. We, uh, we look for folks like Parker and Golf Trek to go ahead and send us the, the folks that are coming down on vacation, booking their rounds of golf, maybe picking up multiple rounds and taking advantage of our facilities, coming and making it a resort destination. Yeah. Golf Trek is such a wonderful company. They get their players here. Everybody's so prepared to have them out here. They have their tickets, they check in. The process to get them on the golf course is seamless. Uh, we we love having the players come out when they, when they have a, a Golf Trek package booked here. Golf Trek is a wonderful partner of ours. Uh, we love having them here. They're a great tool for the middleman getting to book at Sandpiper Bay and getting you great tee times here. We start as early as 7.30 and can run as late as 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon but they can book in our system. We're ready for you, We're ready for you to have a good time and all you gotta do is show up. Choose from over 100 golf courses and 80 properties from Pawleys Island to Brunswick County. Give us a call today and meet your golf master. Call us at 800-675-0193 or visit yourgolfpackage.com slash TV. All right, folks, well, that is all the time we have here at the beautiful International Club in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Special thanks to Doug Donner, the head golf professional here. If you're looking to take a golf vacation in the Myrtle Beach area, you got to check out Golf Trek, your Myrtle Beach golf connection. Folks, thanks so much for joining me out here. I am your host, Meredith Kirk. Go out there, hit them long and straight. Thanks for watching Endless Golf Myrtle Beach. Endless Golf is brought to you by Golf Trek your Myrtle Beach Golf Connection. Book your package by visiting yourgolfpackage.com slash TV. And by your local Toyota dealer. Now's the time to go places with Toyota. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at geico.com or call 800-947-AUTO. The Green Turtle Sports Bar and Grill, with over 25 locations, meet you at the Turtle. And by Endless Golf Myrtle Beach Magazine, your guide to golf in Myrtle Beach.